Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Today we're going to be going over some of the features that Brevo has to offer and why it can be such an easy interface for customers to navigate. A few of the features we're going to be going over today is adding and removing users, adding schedules, making reports, checking activity, and adding administrators. So let's get into it. The first one we're going to go over is adding and removing users. So we're going to go ahead and go up to users, hover over and click on users. There, as you can see, we have some of our office staff already included. To add a new user, we're going to click on the new user button. We're going to enter their first and last name as those are required. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and add myself. And go ahead and click Save Identity. So once you add the user, they are in the system, but you'll need to add them to a group to give them certain permissions. As you can see, this user is not a part of any group, so we'll go ahead and change that by clicking the Choose button. We're going to go ahead and click on Office Staff, as that's the category the user belongs to. Once you click on it, you'll see Users Added to Group. That means they were successfully added to the group. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Once they're added to the group, that means they do have permissions to access certain doors, but for them to access the certain doors, they'll need a credential. We'll go ahead and click on Credential. You can choose from a PIN, a card reference number, a individual card, or a Brevo on air pass, which is the mobile pass. We're going to go ahead and add a HID card. Go ahead and click on any one of these. And then again, you'll see that successful message that says card has been assigned to user. Close out that. So once you add them a card, they'll have access. So as you can see, the steps we went through make it super easy and time efficient to just add a quick user. Um, if you wanted to deny that user access, you can just go ahead and revoke their credential. Or you can even take them out of a group, which denies all their access. And if you know for a fact that this person will no longer be in the group, you can always delete the user.